Well, welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded, and I'm your host, Irv Risch. And today I've got a, uh, well, actually, it's a sad story, but a wonderful story. And uh, it's about a faithful friend. And uh, with that said, I'd like to get on with my story here. And uh, it's about a farmer's dog who is a very faithful friend. Uh, The farmer's dog had faithfully served him, but the dog was getting old, and the farmer decided to drown him. I have a dog, and he's quite old, and uh, I can really relate to the story. It would be really hard for me to try to do something like this. Uh, Had this dog for many years. Well, taking his dog with him in a large uh, river near his farm, the farmer got into a boat and rowed out into deeper, the deeper part of the water. He tied a rope around the dog's neck and attached uh, the other end to a heavy stone. Then he threw boat into the water. Does sound cruel, doesn't it? The poor dog sank, but the rope broke and the dog rose to the surface and with uh, uh, a whine tried to get back into the boat. Uh, You know, he kept trying and his master, you know, repeatedly shoved him, scrambling uh, the dog back into the water. Finally, the farmer stood up in the boat intending to beat the dog uh, hard enough with the oar to send him to the bottom. But losing his balance, the farmer splashed into the water. He fell in himself. And the man couldn't swim. And he was too far away from the boat. Couldn't reach the boat, couldn't reach the shore. And the dog saw his master drowning. And in spite of the cruel treatment he had just received from his From him, the dog swam over, caught him by his clothes, and brought his master safely to shore. How cruel and heartless the farmer was to his faithful dog. We may even feel the man deserved to drown. We hope he had a change of heart and repaid his faithful friend by taking good care of his dog for the rest of his life. And that's what I intend on doing with my dog. Well, let's turn this picture around. Aren't you and I and everyone else far more guilty than this farmer is? You know, in his treatment of his kindness and love, you know, of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. We are more cruel. You know, Jesus came into the world and spent his life doing good healing the sick, raising the dead, giving sight to the blind, you know, all these great and wonderful things, feeding the hungry, you know, bringing joy and relief to sad and weary. But how was he treated in return? Men cried, away with him. You see this in John 19.15. And nailed him to a cross to die. How evil and cruel men were to put to death Jesus, the Son of God, the perfect one, sinless man, sent in love from God, putting him to death, exposing the hate and hostility of man's heart against God. You know, we, you know, these men that put Christ to death uh, on the cross, uh, who have sinful hearts, certainly not. You and I, Certain I have certain uh, sinful hearts just like they who cried away with them For God said the heart is deceitful above all things and Desperately wicked who can know it? You know we find this in Jeremiah seventeen nine. You know just like those men We take his blessing one moment, but want to get rid of him the next If what he says doesn't agree with what we want Well, take a close look at the blessed Son of God on the cross. He doesn't resist uh, the cruelty 
of his tormentors. He doesn't say one word in anger uh, to show resentment. You know, the scripture tells us that uh, he was silent like a sheep that was led to the slaughter. You know, the prophet Isaiah declares, he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, as a sheep before its shears is silent. Isaiah 53, 7. Instead, when everything is against him, his love flows out to sinners who hate him. He prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Luke 23, 34. You know, the cross is the place where man tried to get rid of him. Instead, his death and his resurrection became the means by which his saving power flowed out to all who come in repentance, admitting they are sinners and receive him as their Savior and the Lord. You know, I think of this farmer, uh, you know, even though he tried to kill his dog and we, our sins, put Christ on the cross, yet he grabs a hold of us and he drags us to safety. What a kind, kind Lord and Savior we have. You know, the faithful dog only extended his ungrateful master's life uh, but Jesus saved for eternity. What a difference. He gave eternal life to whoever will believe. If you have not placed your faith in this blessed Savior, receive him now before it's too late. Soon he will come in judgment on the world. With his anger shall burn as an oven, Malachi 4 then he will be your judge. In this was manifest the love of God towards us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world that we might live through him. Here is love, not that we love God, but that he loves us and sent his Son to be a propitiation for our sins, a substitutional death on the cross. First John nine and ten. Well, with that said, I'm just going to end my podcast like I always do. God is out here. You can find him in your Bible. Just pick it up and read it. That's all for now.